This is a gusset that one of my students made. It's all handmade. Every part of it, he made himself. All right, I'm Mr. G. We're at Memorial High School, and um, this is a sh uh, aluminum sheet metal gusset that one of my students made for an aquaponics project. The light stand used to go rhombus, and when it did, we thought, oh, if we put some gussets in, maybe it'll shore it up. So each gusset was made by a different student and has their own personal touch. I didn't ask him which direction to put all these bead rolls in. It was up to him, as long as it adds some rigidity to it. And then uh, also use the metal stamps here. Okay, oh, good idea. So here's another one that's done. This one's a lot different. This one here is made by Jocelyn. She still has to make this cutout. And what's nice is that these are all, there's a lot of pride in putting these together and <laughs> self-sufficiency. Bring me some of the practice pieces. Right there. Right there. So what I do, well, what I've learned over the years is that students want to be able to practice and fail without the pressure. This one was kind of used. Uh... Oh, perfect. Yeah. So this is a good example right here. So this one, this is just a practice piece. They're practicing cutting. They're running the bead on two sides. We're marking things. We're looking at. We don't mind marking it up. I think what I think what works here, and I confirmed it with one of my students, is that it's it's about valuing failure, right? Do you think so? Yeah, we learn from our mistakes. We do better the next time, and even if it, that fails, we try again in a different method or it's similar with a few changes. You learned on your own from your mistakes with no pressure from me because it's a practice piece. Yeah. And then the other part is that you're allowed to put your name on it and it's yours. What else do you think? I think that covers it. Yeah. Because uh, we had some trouble getting these things done. There's about 16 of them. And it, they weren't making them, or they weren't, you guys weren't having fun, right? Yeah, uh, at the point where there was mistakes and we had to fix a majority of them and having to do the same thing over and over again made it boring it was boring it looked like it felt like punishment right yeah so what I said was no it's not you're not fixing it because you're you're on an assembly line you're fixing it because you're learning and then when you're done learning it's yours or when you're done making the part and you're ha and you're happy with it when you're happy like you were like oh I'm not done and then you put your name on okay I'm done you know, like, it's up to you. And you still got to put it on, they still got to put it on the actual thing. Yeah. And I would love to put you on camera, but they have a policy, so it's no problem. But you, right. people can hear your voice. They understand what's going on. And it's really just about sharing the work with other students. Anyway, should we go, should we go over to the thing? Or are you getting stuff together? All right, anyway, that's, uh, that's it for now. I'm Mr. G. and. We can put it on? All right, we're going to go put it on, but I'll stop the camera. All right, I'm Mr. G, and we're doing uh, aluminum gussets for the aquaponics project. See you later.